Hey guys, today we tie another birch streamer and we tie it on a universal predator in 2.0 and we put the hook in like that just to bend it a bit, just a tiny bit. Like that. Hope you can see that. It's not much. And then we can get the hook into the vise and start tying. Today I'll tie with a UTC thread. My GSP threads are empty. So that has to do. And we start to put some weight in it. Uh, for the guys who want to know what we tie, we tie a little crayfish like that. You can see that. And as a weight, I'll tie in these uh, Fly Fish Nation Pro Shop dumbbell eyes, 4mm in the value pack. Just tie them down like that. And then just figure eight it a bit. Well, and then we go around it to push the thread together, which makes it really tight then. Just have to be a little bit careful as I'm tying here with an 8-0. Then we take some Head varnish, it's just Paul's head varnish. It's just nice and thin and just runs through the windings. It's just a bit better here than super glue, I think. And as a crayfish, I like to have a mouse piece, and we do it like do a shrimp. We take some. Apron feathers, which is a partridge. And just remove the fluffy bits and the feather like that. Grab the tip. And just tie it down. Take our heckle plier. Make sure you get a good one if you want to have one. This one's the CNF one. Has a little feather in here. Well, it's actually a rubber feather, but it really prevents your feather not from breaking. That's quite nice. Down, secured with a few wraps. Just can get rid of the feather and just tie it down. And then we take some nice brownish tan colored scrimpage hair and just align the tips a bit like we need it. And just tie it onto the hook. And remember that we tie this fly upside down. What we do then is so we take some sunken strips and we wander around same length, a little bit shorter like that. Make sure you get two pieces of the same length. When you cut them, you make sure that you taper this bit by cutting here an arrow in it, kind of like that. Hope you can see that. And then we take a little 
popper head. Grab it here. Cut it. And then cut it in half. As these will be like our pentons to lift up the arms of the uh, of the claws of the crayfish. Try to do that on top of here so you can see it. So put this on here. Apply a good amount of super glue and then just put the top of the sun cut on it like that. Once we've done that with both sides, we'll just color it brown or black or what color you prefer. but definitely not white. Like that. And do that with both sides of course. And then we take our hook again, get it into the vise. Like take a little bit of these Dubbing. I don't know the brand anymore, but it's got this really nice rubber legs in it, which is really cool for tying crayfish pattern. Um, if I found out the name, um, I'll put it down in the description. Just get a bit on here. Can I touch the claws? Claw here on the other side. Like that, and through the pontons of the popper, that will float up, or better like that, float up, and so when the crayfish goes into the attacking position. However, we did that now. We put on some eyes. I like these easy shrimp eyes for shrimps, crayfish, whatever. Super easy to tie in. Really nice. And this time we tie them in really all the way up front like that. And one side, you can hear that if you scratch above it with your nail, it got some friction on it. So that's the side which you tie in. So we tie it in like that. Super glue uh, of golf fat map to uh, fix the eye as we only tie in the uh, the tail of it. You can check my Instagram fly fishing J um, to win some golf. That's uh, just two bottles of golf ambulance, favorite colors, green and red. Really good for pike flies. So if you want to get some, just check my Instagram. I'll put the link in the description. 
So eyes are fixed. What do we do now? So you take these <coughs> easy shrimp legs, for those who don't know them, really cool. Just take them out like that, and then you just pull them out of here. Just do that here quickly. Don't be scared by ripping the legs, they're actually quite strong. And then you have your legs out like that. Usually designed for shrimps, but also really good for crayfish, I think. As this will be an upside down pattern, I'll just like to tie them in like here. But before I do that, I use a little bit more of the of the dubbing just to cover the uh, the thread base here as it's uh, a bit easier and then we can just tie them in like that and for tying them in I go the way up front I remove this little thing here at the end, which is the uh, tail of the shrimp. So we don't tie a shrimp, we don't need it. And just with a few loose wraps, get everything in position. Don't pull too tight. Just control the position of your legs first. Just put the varnish on top of it again, just so it's soaking through it and keeps everything tight. To form the body of my crayfish, I like to use some chenille. Also, don't know what kind of chenille that is. I found it in my tying closet when I try to clean it up. It's really nice. Well, you can use, of course, any chenille you want, just a really thin, fine one. And this is really good for just forming the body of the crayfish. Just make sure you be careful with the legs as you don't want to tie them down. Just go on top of it here again to create a little bit of volume in the body. Just made a knot to make sure it's not opening up again. So tie it down. And then we go through the winding of the chenille up again. Doesn't really matter if you see the thread, as I said, it's just for forming the body. Like that. Now our thread is here again. And then we take our dubbing, uh, our dubbing twister and we make a nice 
loop in here. Try to make a nice loop in here. Just move the thread through the legs back to the front again. Get the loop out of the way for a second. And now we'll take just a little plastic bag and make sure it's a little bit stiffer material. Um, just to cut our tail. So around that length. We just roll it up and we have it like that. We just roll it up. So we don't get in the way of the hook. As we don't tie that in, I just put a little bit of the gulf in here. crayfish now we take our dumbing tool where we have the loops now and we take a good amount of these uh, rubber leg dubbing See that? Now we just spin it quickly. Just brush it out a bit. again just make sure you be careful on the legs as they won't break but we also don't want to trap them go all the way up front and catch our thread again and just cut it just make sure Everything is in and then we brush it in out one more time and then we get our foil which we just cut. And just tie it down here. Like that. And take a little bit of super glue. So this one will become the tail. And cut it like that. And then we just cut a triangle in it. So it's just like an original crayfish. Just make it a bit black here, and here we put on some stripes. All right, and then we just form the uh, back of the crayfish. Our 
گفت Just get a little bit more volume in here. like that and then with our finished crayfish with the arms floating up <laughs> 